If you're a caregiver or you were in a household or just the type of person who puts everybody else ahead of themselves, then it's likely that you've been neglecting your makeup bag and your makeup case because it's only for you. And because it's only for you to use, you don't really mind leaving it a mess. I know that I will put everybody else's needs ahead of my own and it always ends up making my makeup bag look a mess because it's the last thing on my list. But we shouldn't feel bad about this. It's because we're putting our energy into everyone and everything else and we kind of leave ourselves last. But we're gonna change that today because not only is deep cleaning really good for your mind, but it's also great for your products, which is great for your skin. So if you have any dry patches or you feel like you're breaking out, it could be because of the outer packaging of your products or where they're being stored. But also if you feel like your makeup isn't lasting or isn't looking good, it could also be how you're taking care of them and using them. So we're gonna go through it together. We're gonna find a solution. But remember, this is not about being judgmental of your lack of care or how messy things have gotten. It actually just shows how selfless you are because you're probably just putting your focus on so many other things. But now we're gonna focus on just you. So I'm gonna take everything out and lay it on a towel. Also, I have my wrist straps. These are great if you're applying makeup and you suffer with pain in your wrists. I just like to strap up my wrists every so often just to give them a little bit of support. And I also wanted to share it for my spoony friends out there. You're not alone in needing these. Now the first thing that I like to do is clean all of my tools and I'll do this on a regular basis and most things can be cleaned with household cleaning supplies but I would recommend getting a disinfecting spray. These are actually designed for makeup. I'll link below what I use but if you don't have that don't worry we can still do a lot of other cleaning but maybe just put that on your list for next time. So I'm just soaking these in some hot soapy water. I want to set them aside and we can come back to them a little bit later and then I want to go through all of the outer packaging and see which ones really need a deep clean. The outside of your packaging where you hold your products that can actually hold on to a lot of bacteria and irritate the skin especially if you lay your makeup on a sink or on the floor while you're doing your makeup the oils from your hands the moisturizers that you might be applying over time that causes a lot of buildup on the outside so to break down makeup, I always start off with a little bit of oil, any oil at all. This will basically break down any dry, old makeup on the outer packaging. However, just because it looks clean doesn't mean it is clean because once we use that oil to remove any buildup, we still need to go and disinfect and remove the oils. I always like to make sure my hands are clean so I'm not just putting bacteria back. And then look at the before and after. This is using an oil and then a disinfectant. Literally the product looks like it's brand new and I love that. I love opening my case and seeing products that look new. Just makes me feel fancy. Now, if you wanna clean the inside of your makeup, this is also a really important step and you can get special sprays. Again, I'll link it below the one that I use. It's basically an alcohol spray that you spritz over your product. You leave it to evaporate and dry and then it disinfects. Now, if you notice any discoloration on the top layer of your products, this can often happen because of the mixture of oils and powders. And what you wanna do is use a spatula to remove this. We're just scratching the surface and then we can wipe off that top layer and then go in with the disinfectant spray. Again, if you don't have it, don't worry. You can always just use it for next time, but don't use anything else because you will end up affecting the makeup. Basically all this is, it's just liquid and powders mixing together and then they kind of create almost a paste and as that kind of sits and sets on top of the product, it's just not going to look good and it kind of ends up looking a little patchy, uneven. It's going to give off a lot less pigment, but as we scratch away that surface, spray it, let it dry, it's like magic. And you don't want to put too much pressure on this, just a light amount of pressure, remove any of that excess product and then it should be ready to be used again. This is particularly great if you notice any of your products looking patchy or uneven or losing their pigmentation, particularly for blushes. This is just a great way to bring some more life into them. And it's just amazing how well the products perform after this. It's like getting a brand new product. When it comes to lipsticks and lip glosses, firstly, I hate the labels on these tubes because they attract so much dirt when they start to get really sticky. So I like to remove them. And then I'll also clean down the wand and remove any buildup right at the top as well. This is a great way to make sure you're getting the most out of your lipsticks and your lip glosses because when you take that wand out, it usually has just a little extra old residue sitting there. And so then you're not gonna get a fresh application every single time. It's gonna slowly start to build up a little bit of product. But by taking two seconds to wipe it down, wipe around the top, you're going to get a much smoother, longer lasting application every single time. 
For lip liners, I like to disinfect the cap. This is because this is where you get a lot of buildup. So I'll just wipe this down with a disinfectant wipe. And then also you want to use a sharpener because sharpening your pencils basically removes the outer layer, which gives you a fresh application. It's really important with your sharpeners that you're also cleaning them because they can add a lot of buildup. Now you wanna be very careful with this, but what I like to do is unscrew the blade be careful. And then I like to wipe down the blade, get to the inside, take any of the gunk out that might be building up on there, then just put that back in and it's ready to be used. And also your pencil is ready to be used as well. I also do the same for lipstick. So I like to clean the outer packaging. I like to clean the lid. And sometimes I will spray or dip the lipstick in a little bit of my disinfectant. The most important step though, if you are using a disinfectant spray that is designed for makeup, you have to make sure that it has time to dry. You need to let the product fully dry before you put the cap back on. This is just gonna make sure that it has time to evaporate and it's not gonna be sitting inside the cap. Now, if you love your mascara and you want the best out of it, I cannot recommend this enough. Clean your wand. This is gonna make such a difference. I promise you, the first time I did this, I was shocked. And the thing with mascara is, you see that little number right there? That has a little six on it. Mascaras are only gonna be used for about six months. Every product has a little number on it to tell you how long it's gonna last for. Once that first little pop of the cap happens, that just means that the timer has started. So in order to get the best out of your mascara, which is only gonna last you about six months, what you wanna do is clean down the wand on a regular basis. Basically, the wand is going to trap any old mascara. So if you feel like your mascara used to be great, but now like a month or so in, it's starting to look really flaky, you just have a little residue sitting on the brush and then fresh mascara is going on top of that and then being pushed onto your lashes. And over time, that's going to mess with the formula. So just by wiping this down, it just means we're getting fresh mascara every single time. And I promise you, you will be shocked at the difference this makes. It's like getting a new mascara. It's amazing. You also wanna make sure you're never pumping your mascara or your lip glosses because basically that pushes air inside, which also dries out the product. And we don't wanna do that. We wanna get every last beautiful drop out of all of our makeup. Oh, this is also a neat little trick. If your eyeliner is almost done and it's pretty much dried out, what you can do with some of them is to flip the sponge around. This is great for getting all the little inky last bits from the eyeliner. Basically the tip can become a little dry, but it still has another tip on most eyeliners on the other end. So if you flip it, you're gonna get a smooth application. You're gonna get every last drop of that inkiness. And it's also just gonna give you another couple of weeks out of your eyeliner. Once our makeup is clean and fresh, we can start to put it back, but we wanna make sure that our storage area is clean too. I'm gonna to be using oil to break down this eyeliner eyeshadow bronzer spill mess that ended up happening here. Basically, oil is great for breaking down old dried in eyeliner, mascara, foundation, concealer. It just basically scoops it all away. However, just because this looks clean doesn't mean it is clean because we still have this oil sitting on the surface and over time, that's just gonna end up back on our products. So what we want to do is to clean this down now with hot soapy water. This is going to remove the residue of the oil while also giving us a fresh clean area ready to put our makeup back onto. I also love that I can take the box out of this case. This just means that I can throw the actual bag in the washing machine, but I do like to still hand clean first just to get rid of any of that foundation and concealer buildup because even with the fanciest washing machine in the world, nothing can beat a little bit of elbow grease. And there you go. Those are all my tips for a tidy, clean, disinfected makeup collection. If there's any issues that you struggle with or you're just unsure about, definitely let me know because I'd love to help you guys out. And of course, I didn't clean in this outfit. I actually just needed to film this on date night. So this is just a little bit of B-roll footage. I actually cleaned in my pajamas with a hair mask in watching Netflix. And if you have any Netflix recommendations, definitely let me know. What are you guys watching at the moment? Because I need a new show. Because I've been sick for the last month, I feel like I've watched everything on Netflix. <laughs> But I wanted to remind you guys, as always, to be kind to yourself and your makeup collection because you deserve to feel good and you deserve to take care of the things that belong to you. And I will see you in the next one.